Hey guys, Lewis Cuevas here with MakeNorthTexasHome.com and Remax Cross Country and today I wanted to talk to you about that escrow analysis letter that you got in the mail. Alright, so what is this escrow analysis letter that you get from your mortgage company? The escrow analysis is something that your mortgage company will do once a year, usually in the spring. And what they do is they go back to analyze your escrow account spending what came in and what went out for the previous year. And so in this particular case, we're looking at 2017. So what happens? They look at if they have, if they're collecting enough money for the expenses that they're paying out. Usually if taxes go up, they won't have enough money so there will be a shortage. In our example, we'll use that taxes went up by $120. So in this case, the escrow analysis will tell you, hey, you're short $120, and by the way, your payment is also going to go up by $10 as a result. So let's take a look at this. Option one, which they usually give you two options. Option one will say, give us that $120 and your account's good, but your payment will only go up by $10. Remember, that's 120 divided by 12. So it'll only go up by $10. Option two, is if you don't have that $120, that's okay, we'll just cover it over a year. So now your payment will go up by $10 because your payment, uh, your escrow is short that $120, and then it'll go up by another $10 as well because they need a plan for the following year. So you don't pay anything up front, but they charge you twice on the payment, in this case $20. The math comes out to be the same. Pick whichever one you want. All right, so what can you do to prevent maybe this payment shock? Well, in the spring of every year, you're going to receive a letter in the mail from your appraisal district called the proposed value, what they're going to assess you on that, that fall of that year, in this case, 2018. In that letter, you'll see a spot where they say, if you don't protest this value and if you're okay with it, we're predicting that these are going to be your estimated taxes, and they'll show you that amount. Grab that amount, and we understand it's only an estimate. Grab that amount subtract last year's taxes and that will give you the difference. If it, if it went up, in this case $120, you know one year ahead of time to save that $120 and be prepared for that, that $10 jump in your monthly payment. So I know that's really confusing, just know that it's going to happen every year. You're more than welcome to reach out to me with any questions you might have. But I just thought I'd do this video to explain it and hopefully prevent you from getting that shock in the mail when you have to open that letter. Again, thank you so much for watching. If I can do anything for you, feel free to give me a call. Thank you so much. Now, hopefully you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more, don't forget to uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is Make North Texas Home. Or you can check out more videos on my website, which is MakeNorthTexasHome.com. Thank you so much.